what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we're doing another couple of episodes and after this one we'll be in the 30s you know what i'm saying um finally finished 30 episodes of the series after this reaction so i'm looking forward to see what's gonna happen man i was a little bit confused but intrigued the last couple of episodes to be honest um i need to know what's the the relationship between um their father and this um this um homunculus that can basically do anything um so i'm looking forward to seeing where that storyline is going to go of course i've talked about this before where i'm not really particularly loving that they changed the opening um but this second opening is okay the ending is kind of trash it's not as good as the last one <laughs> let's just be honest um but if you guys think it's cool hey it's cool for you <laughs> it's not cool for me at all and my taste in music is just because it, it's when it comes on to openings and endings it's all about taste it's all very subjective so it's like you may love it i might not like it you know what i'm saying everybody might like it you know what i'm saying but some people might not like it so um so it's very subjective but anyways just saying i don't know what they were thinking with this ending <laughs> but anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man make sure um that you guys hit that like button leave a comment in the comment section make sure you come back and check out the review uh if you watch this intro as i said before i'm gonna start leaving stuff in these intros and reviews that if you don't watch them you won't be able to enter into certain contests and stuff like that i know some of you guys are like running to go and watch the the, the um stuff on the google drive and stuff like that well the majority of y'all do that and i know that for a fact because there's a lot of stuff that goes down sometimes and people come and they're and they're like i was looking for a link on the video and there was no link and stuff like that. i was like did you watch the video Did the video if you watch the video you would know there wouldn't be any link on <laughs> on the video <laughs> right but in any case um i want you guys to watch the intros and the reviews um because it keeps the watch time up on the channel and it will give you the youtube algorithm a much needed incentive to put my videos on on um on other people's videos as as suggested videos so more people can come and join the channel um the growth of the channel is it's not at the pace where i want it at right now i'm gonna be honest it's not at the pace where i want it because i really wanted to hit 7,000 by the end of this year and it doesn't seem like that is going to happen because right now the pace that we're going is not there i might hit 6,000 by the end of this year now i'm pushing for that and I want to see it happen. I'm not going to stop pushing. I still have the goal for 7,000 by the end of this year. Um, with all the things that I'm planning to roll out for the channel in the next couple of weeks. I think we should get a boost in subscribership. So let's look out for that. But in any ways, thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys for the review. all right what's going on guys welcome back to full metal alchemist brotherhood once again we're here with another review episodes 29 and 30. Uh, this anime really tickles the fancy you know it really gets you thinking you know what i'm saying it really gets you to think not only in the context of their universe but also in the context of ours i mean when you talk about war and how senseless it is and the stuff that the homunculus are saying about humans man that shit is so real y'all don't understand the shit that they're saying is so real like not talking about like the stuff that they say you know comparing us to insects and stuff like that but in some ways like i don't i don't ride with what they're saying but what they're saying is actually they're spitting facts it's just that they're leaving 
the emotional side of it because that's the one thing about humans you can never take away if you take that away we're just robots so the emotional side of us the the, the side of us that cause us to laugh to smile you know what i'm saying to laugh to smile to to have empathy um to sympathize with others those parts of us is what you can't recreate and that's the thing that's the thing you get what i'm saying so no we 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 don't look at insects and be like you know what i'm saying um you know we don't consider them like i don't have the same affection towards pets like some people do like i believe pets belong outside most people in america believe pets belong inside no matter what the pet is you get what i'm trying to say um they'll keep some of the dogs outside or the same dog is still allowed to be inside the house I'm not for that. I didn't grow up like that. I wasn't raised to have dogs in the house and stuff like that. As a matter of fact, I don't think it's healthy to have dogs in the house. You get what I'm saying? I don't think it's it. Uh, um, pets. It depends on what the pet is. So, um, dog is the most popular pet in the country around the world, for that matter. You know what I'm saying? It's the most popular pet. So when it comes on to dogs, I believe they they belong outside. I'm not saying that, you know, I love pets. It's like anybody else. Cat um cats are my favorite pets. Um animals to be around. And I still I go outside, kitty. You know what I'm saying? Like go outside. I don't need you in the house. I don't need that kind of work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You go to some people's house, they have dogs. It's, it's just the smell. It's just you get what I'm saying? So I don't have the same affinity towards animals that some people do. I don't want to abuse animals, but I just, it, that's where we just differ. You know what I mean? Um, that's just, you're not going to come to my house and see my pets inside my house, in my bed and on my couch. Like, no, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you're just not going to see that. So, um, so I still believe that, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't, some people do think about animals in a way that I don't think about animals. You get what I'm saying? But for, for me, when it comes on to that stuff, is it's just like, I don't consider pets feelings over mine. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't, it, it, you know what I mean? Like, um, it's the cycle of life. That's just how it's supposed to go. I'm a human. You are an animal. That's just how it is. Some people don't believe in that. They believe that pets are just as equal as humans which no they don't <laughs> but it is what it is whatever you want to believe is whatever you want to believe i'm not going to tell you not to believe that i'm just saying we got people out here marrying pet their pets you get what i'm saying um so those things are just out of bounds in my opinion and that's just what it is my opinion you know if they didn't have a different opinion they wouldn't do the things they do so it is what it is um so there are some things that they touch on man in this anime that really gets you to thinking about how you think about life and how things happen both on just on a physical spiritual you know money body mind and soul kind of level kind of stuff you know so um so i'm digging that aspect of the anime it really has you the questions just like in terms of certain things like war and how senseless it is you know what i'm saying um and people is like war is necessary i'm like in what context can you present to me and tell me war is necessary you get what i'm saying like yeah if somebody comes on your doorstep yes there's self-defense but you going out trying to conquer countries and stuff like that is a whole different story if you are going out there looking for war you get what I'm saying? That's a whole different thing. You know what I'm saying? Than you defending, you know, yourself from a country or defending another country against another country. That's a whole different story. You get what I'm saying? Um, and the world is permitted to war. You get what I'm saying? The world is permitted to war. This is not something that the UN is against in any way. You know what I'm saying? It's just that there's war rules if you're going to war they are rules when there shouldn't be any war at all <laughs> you get what i'm saying it's just like if you decide to go and if you and 
two other countries decide to go to war with one or two other countries, it's allowed. It's allowed. They just, oh, don't kill no civilians, women and children. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, and, and you know, don't mass murder and all of these other rules that they have um, for war when the mandate should be, no, we're not doing that. You get what I'm saying? The mandate should be, no, we're not doing that. You want war? Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You want war? You looking for a fight? Okay, I'm going to gather up 20 countries and we going to come get you. How about that? Go sit yourself, go sit your ass down. Whether you're a dictator or not, go sit your ass down. You ain't taking nobody over, okay? You get what I'm saying? Or you put your people in trouble even though most of the time a lot of these dictators they're killing their own people and stuff like that and you know other countries got to step in and stuff like that and i don't have an issue with that it's just that certain things certain wars that happen i don't think it sh it, 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 it should have happened but it is what it is right um i don't want to get too much into the politics of of war and all this other stuff like we can discuss that on a live stream or something um for our pleasure right but in other words, man, I'm not saying that people like soldiers and stuff like that is unnecessary. That's not what I'm saying. Those things are necessary. Those jobs are necessary. You know what I'm saying? Being a being a policeman is necessary. Those jobs, those occupations are necessary, right? Um, but for defense, not for not for you building up an army to go attack a country and be like we're gonna take over your country like the u.s invading england or some shit like that you know what i'm saying um no <laughs> no you need to get you you know to go sit down somewhere um so there's a lot of stuff about this anime that really gets you to thinking you know the aspects that they that they touch on man um i'm trying to remember um some of these things because uh, I think it's going to play a part in the end game of this series. Um, you know, the thing with Fuhrer Bad Bradley, what he was telling them, you know what I'm saying? A life is a life. A lot of that stuff that he's saying is facts, bro. You like, even though it sounds harsh as hell that, you, you know, he talking to the guys like, you think that you, you think that me killing you, you think that me killing you, um, should should satisfy anybody's hunger for taking other people's lives i just don't understand you get what i'm saying it's like it's like what what do you think is going to happen it's kind of like how the cartel would 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 um you know would operate you get what i'm saying what he's doing is wrong don't get me wrong but what he's saying is fact your life is only worth your life <laughs> let's be honest This guy's back with the weed whacker. Know you guys hear it. But anyways, we out here, right? You know, so that's just certain things where I'm saying it's just like, is facts what he's saying? One life is really only worth one life. My life is not worth more than yours where I can say, take me and spear him. Yes, you can do that out of empathy, out of emotion. But at the end of the day, when you look at it from a point of view, you get what I'm saying? Your life is not really worth more than mine because a life is a life. You get what I'm saying? Each life is worth what it's worth. A life. You get what I'm saying? So my life is not worth two. Oh, if you if you, if you kill me, it'll be like killing that other person too. No. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? That those things are facts, man. So, but it's crazy talk though. That's the thing. So that's where the conundrum comes in because it's crazy talk. You get what I'm saying? Because it, it's like are you really a monster to be able to, to think like that when really and truly it's not and that's where the writing of the show really shines because even though he's speaking the truth even though people like envy is speaking the truth you get what i'm saying they're speaking from a place of non-emotion there's no emotion attached to what they're saying so it's like if you actually think about it with emotion and empathy yes somebody giving their life to save the rest of the people in their country you empathize with that with that person that is some real shit but 
at the end of the day <laughs> you get what i'm saying that's why the writing is so brilliant in this man and that's why i love it that's why i said this is great writing the emotion the, the 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 it's an amazing story it's an amazing story as i said i'm not golden it yet it's not in my top five yet as i said it's not it's not up there with the attacking titans of the world you know what i'm saying it's not it's not there with that with the writing and the structure of the story where i'm gonna go crazy but at the end of the series we'll see how it ends up and what my rating is for this and where it will land in my top 10 because it's not in my top five i don't think it's gonna end up in my top five anime of all time but i believe it's gonna be placed in the top 10 in the bottom five of my rating for the animes that i have so far in my top 10 but in any case guys i have to sign off right now because this guy is out here weed whacking the yard and he's you know what i'm saying he took a break and now he's back <laughs> you know what i mean so um well this is my last recording for the day anyways but in any case thank you guys so much as always man leave a like on the video leave a comment and as always man it's your boy terabyte reacts and i will catch you guys later man peace